it moving around to getting the next week for people on day six. So uh, you'll see pretty busy for me. But um, this is it, just the beginning of day seven. I may or may not do another one. This is kind of like the day seven. I don't know. Um, I don't even want to talk about it, so I might do another one. Um, <laughs> what was I going to talk about? Oh, yeah. So, um, the night of day five, I guess. Um, I had a little bit to drink. There's alcohol everywhere. Um, my carbs were harder on the nerves. Um, tried to drink it through a straw, and it didn't hurt my tongue at all, but I started feeling really weird, like, only halfway through it, which was really weird. Um, I would advise, it's probably okay to go ahead and drink the clear liquor that we drink, and, you know, don't do the beer for obvious reasons. Um, it went over fine as far as my tongue, but I think I've been taking too much Motrin, and it was reacting funny to the Motrin, so I would be cautious of that. Um, me seriously equals pain medication equals doesn't mix well with alcohol, I would assume, so, um, yeah, not good, and I also took a burp down my throat, and it went over pretty well, um, she said that it wasn't really a big deal, so, that's good, um, the soreness is actually, it's pretty much gone, um, it's been gone since, like, yesterday, maybe a little bit before. I haven't had any issues with it. Eating is still a little funny. It'll get sore after a while just because you're moving it around so much, I think. Um, it'll probably be sore during the eating process for a while, but that's okay. Um, I'm still rinsing my mouth out with fresh throat house um, after everything that I have that isn't water, which is kind of a pain in the ass because... The tip of my tongue is kind of starting to hurt, I think, from all of the mouthwash. Like, my mouth is too clean, I think. I've, it, um, that thing has happened. But, um, I mean, I wipe it off, and I don't see any for, like, five, six hours. So, it's, I mean, as far as I know, it's healing pretty well. I have to go back home to see my parents pretty soon. I ordered a clear barbell um, that has, like, the half balls on it, and I guess I'll see how that goes. I get to change it on next Tuesday. I get to change it in a week. So I'm hoping that I can hold off the visit until then. I'm not sure if I'll be able to, but... Um, Easter is this Sunday, so I'll probably have to go home and do some family things. Um, that's what I have to say. But anyways, um, I'm getting through classes fine. It's not like I have to go out and clean it or readjust or anything like that. Another thing I wanted to tell you is that I am, I have been, um, uh, usually before I do the mouthwash, I wash my hands really, really well, and I will, um, tighten the balls, I just kind of, you know, give them a little twist, just to make sure that they're in, which I would probably recommend, um, just because you don't want one of them falling off and then being in a position where the entire piercing could come out and tear itself up and you have to do it again, which just sucks. So... I would recommend doing that, and I haven't, you know, I haven't had any issues with any sort of cancer infection, so I'm assuming that putting your fingers on it is okay. Um, that's about it. Oh, the swelling is pretty much completely gone. I mean, there's a little bit on the right side for some reason. It feels a lot harder. Um... I don't know if it's just because it got pierced crooked to the right. I'm assuming to miss veins. I don't know. Maybe he just wasn't paying attention. But it's not too bad when you look at it. And it's not really too crooked. Um, right? It's 
have to go. So that's my day six update. It may or may not be day seven. I haven't decided yet. But if it is day seven, then I'll label it day six one seven. 